Zero Accounting Software 2023 Budgeted Income Statement Data Input. Get ready to become an accountant hero with Zero 2023. First, a word from our sponsor. Well, actually, these are just items that we picked from the YouTube Shopping Affiliate Program, but that's actually good for you because these aren't things that were just given to us from some large corporation which we don't even use in exchange for us selling them to you these are things that we actually researched purchase and use ourselves acer 27 inch monitor i've been using an acer monitor as my primary monitor for a few years now this is the first acer monitor that i have used after having used a series of different brands of monitors in the past the acer monitor has been performing well and i'm trusting the acer brand more and more as i use the monitor i have a 27 inch monitor which i think is ideal for what i do which is of course the screen recording and the editing if you would like a commercial free experience consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com where we have many different courses you can purchase one at a time or have a subscription model giving you access to all the courses courses which are well organized have other resources like excel files and pdf files to download and no commercials here we are in our custom zero homepage. going into the company file we set up in a prior presentation that's get great guitars we're going to duplicate the tabs to put the reports in like we do every time right click in the tab up top so we can duplicate it right click in the tab up top so we can duplicate it back to the tab to the middle accounting drop down opening the balance sheet this is a comparative balance sheet if you don't have it open the standard one tab into the right accounting to the drop down income to the statement this is a comparative income statement if you don't have it you can open the standard one there as well in prior presentation we have downloaded information from zero basically a trial balance that we can then format into an income statement and then create a budgeted projective income statement in excel which we have done here now what we would like to do is take that budgeted income statement and put it back into zero using the budgeting tool which is different than the normal data input process because of course we're projecting out into the future the reason we want to do that is because we want to be able to run reports within zero that can do comparative reports so as time passes say we budgeted in the past and we budgeted for january and february I can then run reports to compare what we thought was going to happen to what actually happened as time passes that's one of the great tools to have zero to have to to put it back into zero so that we can have that information now we have inputted into the zero system two months of data input for actual data input for january and february we used that as the baseline to then create our budget and we kind of imagined that this is information from the prior two months december and november of the prior year so that we can budget out project starting in january so the reason we want to do that is now that i have january and february i'm going to put that into the system as well as all 12 months and we'll be able to run reports which will show the actual and budget for january and february and then everything going forward from that uh, we don't have any actual data to but in practice of course as time passes we can compare what actually happens to the budget all right let's go to the first tab and see where the data input for the budget is it's under the accounting drop down we go into the reports and then we're going to go on down move on down to the budget manager the budget manager now you could uh, have multiple budgets if you wanted to this is the overall budget kind of the default budget you can add a new budget uh if you if you so choose and simply name the budget here we're just going to use the overall budget and we're going to start it on january so you could have different start dates if you wanted to uh it's you know the common budget is to project out you know on a 12 month basis but you can you know do different variations as you choose and then we've got the actuals so this is showing the actual numbers down here which could be useful if you were trying to construct your budget you know within zero 
but that's not what we recommend doing really and that's not what we did here what we did is we exported to excel to construct the budget and now i just want to do the data input so what i would like to see is no actuals i'm going to say none and update so so now we just have our data input fields down below and then the periods we could have three months six months 12 months 24 months we're going to add a year's worth of budget so we're going to go for 12 months out and there's our budget information now zero has a nice tool down here that we could import the budget so if i look at the import option uh note that i could like download the template here and say give me the template in excel or a csv file and we could open this and populate it now you could try to use this template as your budgeting uh tool instead of building it uh, like we did here but it would still be a little bit difficult to do because you'd probably start off with your past data but also i could it might be a little bit faster if i take if i was to take my data here and just copy and paste it into the template uh, and then import the template so that's just a method that you might want to keep in mind we're not going to do it that way here because i want to see how to actually put the data input into zero without the template but that could be a, a useful tool to save some time. So I'm gonna go back on over. I'm gonna go back to the budget manager here and we're just gonna do the data input. Down here, we've got the import, uh, we've got the exporting, saving, uh, and the cancel. This is in like the non widescreen. It might be easiest if we go to widescreen once you're ready to do the data input and that gives you just a little bit more space uh, here so that you could see a little bit further out to the right. It kind of locks in the screen. All right, so let's just try to do this one line at a time. It's a lot easier if you had, uh, if you had like two screens that you could use, but we'll just, we'll work with what we've got here, right? So we've got the sales number. Now we've got the account number over here that could be a little bit useful. Sales number, uh, 29226. So I'm gonna say, all right, sales uh, 29226, 29226. That's account 4350, right? Now, I want to count. Hold on a second. I'm going to make this whole thing green. I want to count 4,000. 4,000. Yeah, 49226. 49226. Now, if I hit this green button in the middle, it gives me my compounding options. So I can apply a fixed amount to each, uh, each month. Uh, if I want to just copy it across, I can adjust by an amount each month, or I can adjust by percentage each month. So what I want to do is adjust by that percentage, because that's what we did here. We've increased it uh, by 10%, so 110%. So I'm going to say adjust by percent each month, and I'm going to say, and I'm not sure if I put 110 or just 10%. I'm going to say 10% and see what it does there. I'm going to say copy it across. And so the next month should be 32,149. Boom, looks good. This, the total comes out to 624,982. So 624,982, 624,996. Slightly different. What happened? Well, maybe it's just a rounding difference. It looks immaterial. Let's keep it. Let's keep it rolling. I think that's good. So we'll go to the next one. Uh, service. Let's go and highlight this one. Uh, this is account 4300-4250. So 4300, back to January, data input 4250. All right. And then this one, we increased by just a solid amount of $1,000. So I'm just going to say, let's go to the arrow. And I want to adjust by an amount of just $1,000 bring it up by a thousand dollars each uh, time period and apply it out so boom and that comes out to a total of one one seven oh 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 one one seven oh 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 let's see if that is what we have here yeah looks good movie b to the n next one ultra base we're gonna say this one goes up by five percent rental income Count four three five zero one one three zero, rental income. Uh, uh, hold on, a second. Wait a second. I put this one in the wrong box. I knew it. I knew I did something funny. 
there. Uh, uh, it should that should be the service item. The, the whole thing the whole thing is messed up. No, it's not. Stay calm. Stay calm. What I'll do is I'll put this one here, four two five zero. And then uh, that four two five zero was increased by the one thousand. Okay, I see what I did. I see what I did. So we'll put the one thousand here and then apply. So I fixed it to this one and then this one uh, needs to be changed to the proper amount of the one one three zero and that goes up by five percent. So this one needs to be one one three zero and then this one's going to go up by five percent each period adjust by percent five percent looks good so it's compounding so zero's got that nice functionality uh, allowing us to do those simple kind of mathematical functions for our formula so i can go all right what's next man this I, this is easy interest uh expense interest expense we're going to go back on over here and say uh where's the interest expense uh there it is so here's the interest expense we're in jan so that's going to be the three three four three three four now this one went down by a percent so so it's taking so this i think this is designed uh to do an increase but i think i said down maybe i can make it a negative it's going to go down by five percent because i took f uh, over here i said that i wanted it to, to go be 95%. So that's a decrease of 5%. Let's try that out and see if it works. So that would bring us to, okay, let's check, check the total. 3062, 30, oh, it's pretty close. 3067 versus, th so I'm, I'm gonna be okay with that. It's a budget, it's a budget. Uh, so a little bit of, uh, as long as it's in the ballpark, right? As long as it's in the ballpark. All right, so this one, we didn't do anything for this one. And then this one, uh, the cost of goods sold, 22977. So let's go into the cost of the goods that are sold. Where, how come it's not 22? We need to be back in January. 22977, 22977, that one goes up by the same amount as the sales line because it should be relational. So that's uh, one goes up by 10%. So I'm gonna say percentage increase, 10 percentages on the increase. And that totals up to 491361. So let's just double check that. 491361, all right, it's close. And so we're going to say bank uh, service charges is just going to be the same. So these should be easy going forward from here. So we're going to say other income. Where's my expenses? Bank service charges, which we called Don Day. There's our Don Day. Where are they? Oh, they're bank, bank charges. January this is 18 and we can just copy that one across just do the same thing apply a fixed amount boom all the way across i'm not even going to check it because that one should be easy and then we have the insurance this is the one where we said we just applied it uh weirdly in the middle kind of on a cash basis because that's when we're going to pay it so we're going to say insurance uh insurance right here we said 6,000 in Feb and 6,000 in, I think September we said it was, for a total of 12,000 on the year that we're gonna pay, right here and September, all right? Wages, wages, we're gonna put in the good old wages, how much we're paying the employees. We don't wanna have an uprising from the staff because we don't have any money to pay them or something so three six nine eight three three so i'm going to say six nine 
833. Now this, whoa, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. That's 6983. Uh, that's too much. 6983. Okay, and this one, we, we changed it like in the middle. Those union contract getting out of control there for a second. But so we need to change it in July. So I'm going to first copy it across. And so I'm going to say copy that across. And then in July, I'm going to make the change. I'm going to say in July, we'll just dollar amount the change 7682 right there, 7682. And then I'm going to copy it across from here, copy it across from there, boom. And then that comes out to 87990. And over here, we've got 87990, MUI B to the NBN. Let's do a similar thing with the payroll taxes. Payroll, the government wants their stuff as well. I'm more scared of them than the employees even. And the employees terrify me. Payroll tax expense. Let's say this is going to be uh, 486. Same thing, it changes like in the middle. So I'm going to say 486 copy that across and then in uh in july they increased it in july they increased it so july uh 535 i'm more scared of the staff than than disney is scared of their staff for crying out loud and that's that's saying something they're good staffs Dang employees have gotten out of control. No, okay, <laughs> we're going to say this comes over here at the 66126. Six, six. All right, and then next we've got the utilities. Uh, 634, 634. And so utilities will say 634. And we just copy that across. Same amount all the way across. Por favor, please. And then the telephone, 385, copying it across, 385, 385, 385. I'll just copy that across. Just do it all the way across. We're almost there. We only get to do two more and then we have to stop. So enjoy the last two because this is all you get. Uh, internet 90, internet, internet 90, uh, I don't want the 90s internet. That's when it was slow. These are, okay, apply it across. And then we're gonna say supplies expense is gonna be 350, 350 for the supplies. We're almost there. Muy cerca, very close to completion of the project. 350, 350. But I don't want it to end because it's the good times. Depreciation, uh, one, two, three, six. One, two, three, six, depreciation. Depre, one, two, three, six. Copy it across. One, two, three, six, and one more. Last one, make it last, people. Get full enjoyment from this one. This is it, miscellaneous miscellaneous uh 75 75 oh yeah that was a good data input right there okay so then we can check our totals uh down below these are the total expenses and the net profit so we can kind of tie out our net profits here notice something looks like it's off in february so i think something is is a little off here i'm not going to go through the checking because we're going to we'll comp continue to do that next time I'll actually generate the reports. Let's go ahead and save it. And then we'll see how we can go back in here and make adjustments if there's any if there's any errors. But we could check the numbers down here. But if we were to save the reports and generate the actual reports and there was an error there, we can always go back into it, which again, we will check out in a following presentation.